Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, October 12, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Today, of course, is Microsoft Patch Tuesday and we got patches for 96 vulnerabilities, which does include the Chromium patches for Microsoft Edge that actually came out earlier this month, but are included sort of as part of this set of patches. 13 of the patches are rated critical, 71 important, and one patch is rated as moderate. But the real news everybody's waiting for, of course, was a patch for Microsoft Exchange. And well, that already exploited vulnerability is not being patched this month. As part of the Exchange Server October 2022 security update, Microsoft states that the October 2022 SUs do not include a patch for uh, these vulnerabilities. So that's CVE 2022-41040 and CVE 2022-41082. The post then refers to the workaround published earlier and a couple of times already updated and states that the patches will be released when they are ready. So apparently it does take a little bit longer. It's a bit more of a complicated patch. One vulnerability is CVE 2022-41003, a Windows Com Plus event system service elevation of privilege uh, vulnerability. Well, uh, it's already being exploited. And then we do have another patch, CVE 2022-41043, a Microsoft Office information disclosure vulnerability, not yet exploited, but already publicly known before the patch was released today. Also kind of interest are that there were a number of vulnerabilities in the Windows point-to-point -point tunneling protocol that were rated critical and that may lead to code execution. Exploitation, however, is rated as less likely for them. And then we have one vulnerability, an elevation of bridge vulnerability in Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster connect. And that one was rated with a perfect 10.0 CVSS score. Overall, uh, nothing here that I would say sort of sticks out as sort of an immediate uh, must patch. Yes, the exchange server vulnerability, of course, is what we were all waiting for, and it would have qualified as a must patch issue right now. Not sure, but based on the note here that Microsoft has that the patch will be released when ready, uh, maybe there's still hope that, it, that we won't have to wait till the November patch Tuesday. And just because I usually include Adobe, but as I'm recording this, and again, due to time zone here, I'm recording this earlier than normal, there is nothing from Adobe yet uh, for uh, today, because Adobe usually also uh, today would release updates. But well, SAP came out uh, with a sort of interesting patch day uh, with uh, 15 patch day security notes. That's sort of what they call it. And two of these have a priority that uh, SAP labels as hot news, which I guess sort of corresponds to critical meaning in the case of SAP that the CVSS score is higher than nine. One is a path traversal vulnerability in SAP manufacturing execution. And the second one is an account hijacking through URL redirection of vulnerabilities in SAP commerce. So if you run SAP update, in particular, uh, these first two don't sound business description to be that terribly difficult to exploit. And since Patch Tuesday is, well, as the name implies, all about patches, I thought it uh, would be nice uh, to point to a list that uh, CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agent, uh, updated uh, earlier this week. And that's the top CVEs actively exploited by People's Republic of China state-sponsored cyber actors. Uh, this uh, list of uh, CVEs goes back to 2020. And one thing I thought about pointing out is that only three of the CVEs actually have a 2020 
22 uh, number. One of them is the Atlassian uh, vulnerability. I think I mentioned this already a couple times because this has been uh, definitely exploited. It's a remote code execution vulnerability, an F5 big IP remote code execution vulnerability, I believe also with a CVSS score of a 9.8 or something in that vicinity. And uh, finally, one vulnerability actually wasn't really sort of uh, on my radar, and that was an Apache authentication bypass by spoofing uh, vulnerability. Uh, this uh, vulnerability uh, does affect uh, the Apache uh, API uh, tool. Uh, that's uh, Apache API SIX. And uh, well, uh, this uh, vulnerability uh, basically bypass some IP restrictions. Uh, interesting kind of vulnerability, like I said, wasn't really on my uh, radar here. Also a CSS score of 9.8. Well, that's it uh, for uh, today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.